If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. Hey guys, if you're new here, consider subscribing as I post daily 2K videos about anything and everything 2K related. Enjoy. So have you guys been searching for a brand new jump shot? Is your shot broke? Are you guys just bored of your current jump shot? Well, in this video, I got you guys. Don't worry. I use this shot on three of my different positions, one being my pure sharp, one being my pure post score, and another being my two-way playmaking five, and they all green, whether it be from the corner, top of the key, wherever, man, I got you guys with this fire jump shot. So I'm not going to waste too much of your guys' time, but I just wanted to tell you if you guys are new, I've been posting for 46 days consecutively, so can we hit 250 likes in this video just for that? If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe and hit that post notification bell as well, because I come out with daily content no matter what it is, bruh. So before I do hop into this jump shot, I just want to show you guys some clips, because what I will be introducing is this jump shot right here. It is fire low-key. I never really introduce this bass too much into my videos, but if you guys are an existing viewer, you guys will know about this bass, because I've talked about it just a tad bit before, but you guys know I am an instant green light with this shot. Now, one, I want to tell you guys, don't get it twisted, because this is a clip of my pure sharpshooter so obviously I'm gonna be more inclined to green more shots don't get me wrong but this is one of the most consistent jump shots I have came across so I am introducing today in today's video to y'all so hopefully you guys do green out so like I said I don't like to waste too much time in jump shot videos because I want to get straight to the point but some people ask in my jump shot videos what badges do I run these are the ones that I do run. I'm going to recommend a couple badges. You guys are going to see the normal badges. Nothing crazy because I have 30. Flexible release I do believe in a lot, especially if I'm trying out a new jump shot. Simply because every time I try out a new jump shot, my shot meter will be on. Green machine, I don't believe in Hall of Fame at all, so I keep that on gold. So here, let me give you guys the setup for the 15 badges, what I believe in. I say quick draw, hot zone, dead eye. So now that you guys have 9 badges, it's going to be a little bit confusing. I would say range extender, obviously. And then I would still recommend Green Machine on Silver. I believe that's the one that actually works. And then just catch and shoot on Bronze. For the normal 15 shooting badge build, I believe those are the best badges to upgrade. So now finally, let's hop into the 10 badge build, and then we'll hop straight into the jump shot. So quick draw, range extender, hot zone, and then dead eye on bronze. It's pretty simple. These are probably going to be the most popular ones. You guys know it, but in case you didn't, that's what I recommend. So now let's hop into the shot, because this is why you guys are low-key here. We're going to start with my favorite base in NBA 2K20, that being Stephen Curry. One of the most underrated bases in this game. And then release Rudy Gay. And then my favorite release you guys should know it by now it is big larry bird bro big larry bird and then the split we're going to be doing is rudy gay 40 larry bird 60 when i say this jump shot is cash believe me the jump shot's going to look a little bit different in the gameplay simply because i was using quick draw hall of fame in the shooting practice but in the game i was using it on gold so don't trip about that so before i get into the gameplay of me cashing out with this jump shot you guys know what's going to happen next i want to see down in the comment section below the word green light i want to see as many green lights down in the comment section below as possible let's confuse everybody that doesn't watch this part of the video all right so you know your boy whenever i start a game i come out shooting out the gate bro you know the first shot's always green from there it is game over you know your boy is strictly a rec player, so whenever I come to the rec center, my goal is to drop as many points as possible, shooting the best percentage possible. So whenever I come out to the rec, bro, you know I'm about to be shooting lights out, running down the court with another easy green, because that's what I do, bro. I provide green light jump shots for you guys to shoot just as well as me. And coming out the gates, bro, when I got a center like Fawn, man, he's just green giving me the ball. And you know what it is, bro. It's always green. When I say it's always green, I'm not lying. So let me just say while wow, this is about to be fast forward because you know what's about to come next. The reason why I'm using the shot meter, this was one of the first games I was using this jump shot. So we know what that means, bro. I just need to get a feel for the shot because once I get a feel, we already know it's about to be a fat green from God knows how deep. Curry range, big greens. But yeah, man, I always just try to come out to the rec center with a new jump shot just to see if it's fire for y'all. And even though it's white, it still goes in. It still buckets. That's that flexible release I was talking about earlier. And once you see this activates, bro, once you see that sharpshooter take activates, game over, y'all, because you know what this green is, bro. Giant. On two people. What's that contest rate? It doesn't even matter. It's green regardless. 43, that's with ease, bro. That is with ease. 
It's insane how many jump shots I find you guys, though. Like, every day I feel like I'm finding a new jump shot to give to y'all. But regardless, like, hopefully you guys do enjoy this shot because it doesn't matter. I got the whole team jumping at me. Where are they going? Like, what are they doing? We know it's green. Like, every shot I'm going to be taking in this video better be green or I feel like I disappointed you guys. So y'all see me greening out. I'm shooting 7 for 8 in the first quarter. I want to hear from you guys, man. What is the shot you guys have been rocking with? through 2k let me know what you guys have to say because if you guys aren't using this shot man i don't know what to tell you you guys have already seen so many greens and it just started the second quarter like come on bro but like whenever i talk about teammates y'all always hear me talking about badges and teammates big fong got gold dimer i got my boy henji with hall of fame floor general plus you pair it with my 95 three and all my badges you like listen bro use your teammates to your advantage please listen to me when it comes to that You'll be the greatest shooter of all time. Because honestly, that is the number one tip when I can tell you guys about shooting. That is something that people hide from everybody. If you're using your teammates and their badges to their benefit and your benefit, you will succeed so much more as a shooter. And you guys should know that by now from seeing so many of my videos. Or even if you guys are new, you guys should know that I'm one of the best spot up shooting guards in NBA 2K20. That's not even a flex, bro. That's just the truth in my opinion because you guys have already seen me drop multiple 100 point games with ease. And I'm just doing this just to have fun, bro. I'm not trying to show I'm trying to give you guys the best jump shots and the best tips possible because I know how this game is Shooting is low-key really easy. Don't get me wrong But your boy JJ is trying to make green it as easy giant. as possible because anytime it leaves my fingertips It's gonna be a green release. That's just how it is, bro Don't give me any space or it'll be green every time I get a little bit of space Like I don't even use steady shooter. Don't even get me started on steady shooter That might be the most underrated badge in NBA 2k20. You might see a video from me on that. We'll see. I don't know like, if you guys don't know about Steady Shooter, I get that it, like, negates your open shot bonus. But when I say that stretch bigs can literally shoot over people like it's last year, again, that might be the most underrated badge. We might we might have to talk about that because I don't think y'all know about that Steady Shooter. That is so fire. Like, I have it on my post score, and for some reason, even with gold, he dominates when shooting over people. If you guys are a post scorer, keep that in mind that it does work for your post fade. That's all I'm about to say. Might have just gave y'all a life hack for post scoring. Not gonna lie, I hear nobody talking about that steady shooter. I swear it works. Go try it out right now while you hear me talking about it. And I swear you will not be disappointed. Just don't expect to shoot as good whenever you're wide open. Not gonna lie. But your contested shots, you can make 100% smothered shots. Just gonna say that right now, so keep that in mind, bro. Now you guys see that I got my take again, and you guys know that I have a 99.3 currently, so we know what that means. It's not even fair. I I'm gonna green like it it's no one's business, I swear to God. So many people talk down on this pure sharp build too, and low key I get for the park it might not be the most efficient. But whenever I got I have my take, I can make shots like this. It might be white, but we know it always goes in. I'm shooting 91% through two quarters with 36 points. You cannot tell me that a pure sharp build is trash. I don't care what anybody says. Most underrated build in the game, without a doubt. Now, not gonna lie, I started out this third quarter missing a shot. Uh, I lost my take, so I thought I could pull a like, Loki a contested shot, but you know what happens, bro? I'm not gonna lie. There it is. I miss. Big whoop. It happens, but don't worry. I always get my redemption because you know what green's coming next. I never miss two shots in a row. I promise you that. Now, like I was saying, bro, this pure sharp, I feel like, not, like, obviously I said it's underrated, but people look down on it just because it's not that good of a park build unless you guys have a, a playmaker and a center that can actually somewhat shoot. But like I said, whenever you see stuff like this, like, I'm just toying with this dude. I'm just waiting for him to step up. He never does. It might be white. Flexible release, Deadeye Hall of Fame. Simple as that, bro. It, it's gonna go in. Like, no matter what. Now, herein lies the problem when I try to record gameplays. Obviously, I'm trying to score as most points as, like, as, as I possibly can. So, I end up taking shots like that. And although I miss, bro, like... It's all in the gameplay. It's all for me to show you guys because I'm not going to shoot 100%. I'm probably going to shoot around 80 a game, 80% from the three-point line, scoring like 60 points. That is remarkable. And regardless, I'm not afraid to show you the shots that I'm going to miss. At the end of the day, we still know the jumpers cash. You guys have seen plenty of examples where this thing cashes out, so I'm not going to be scared about showing it. Now again, I shot a surprisingly amount of white releases in this gameplay. And although you guys might not have realized it, like me coming down the court... I had a lot of confidence, so I was just taking any shot that I seen, and it still went in. 
The benefits of flexible release is low-key underrated. Again, there are so many underrated badges in this game, and I get because there's so many shooting badges and not a lot of you guys have the badges to be able to spare, but again, flexible release is another badge that I would love to make a video about because not a lot of people realize green it, but we know coming down the court, I don't even gotta say it. Y'all know it was green. It's fine. No biggie. I mean, to be honest, did you guys expect anything less from me? 13 from 17 from 3, shooting with ease, doing things that honestly not a lot of people can do with their their builds. So you know your boys coming around the court, pulling up green in two people's giant. faces, getting that fat green to go, and getting that take. And when that take pops, you guys have already seen it is game over. Now again, you guys are about to see me come down the court, and when I say that this take makes everything a game changer, no matter if it's green, if it's white, if it's contested, it seriously does not matter. Paired with my boy Spawn's badges, I'm just playing with them. You know I'm about to pull it. It might not be green, but it's green. You get what I'm saying? White releases, flexible release, all of my badges. They all come in pairs, and we know what that means, bro. Cashing out like it's nothing. Now I'm going to come down. Obviously, I'm about to just take this layup because screw taking a jump shot. Y'all know what it is. It's fine. So even off the inbound, bro, don't even get me started because y'all act like I can't speed boost. I don't know why you act like I can't speed boost. You know I'm coming down. Does not matter green if it's contested. Giant. It is a fat green. <laughs> My dude is just shimmying. I'm having fun at this point. Like, so much fun. But yeah, sadly, I didn't get to record the fourth quarter of this gameplay. I ended up dropping 86 points. You know, something slight. Nothing crazy. But to be honest, I had fun with this gameplay. I hope you guys did enjoy this jump shot. Because like I said, I don't know if people have posted this. I, this is my jump shot. I'm just going to say that. I've never seen anyone even use Steph Curry's green base. Giant. And we're going to end it with a fadeaway green. Just to seal the deal. As if we weren't already up by 51 points. Your boy didn't even realize it at this time. I think we ended up dropping 126 points this game. Or something close to that. That might have been a different gameplay. At this point, I don't even know anymore. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like. And as well as subscribe if you're new. So with that, it's been your boy JJ2K. I am out. Peace.